What the heck is going on in Virginia's 5th Congressional District with that primary and other local primaries? Today, I'm going to explain. I didn't feel like this was worthy of a full professional episode yet because we just don't know what's going to happen next. I'm going to get you up to speed and tell you where we are today on Fight and Revive with Adam Boyer. America is no longer one nation under God. Are you ready to fight for a revival? Well, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Fight and Revive with Adam Boyer. So today is not going to be a long episode or a super professional in the studio episode. Like I said, I just, we don't know what's going on yet exactly. We don't know or exactly what the results are going to be. Currently, right now, Bob Good trails John McGuire by 333 votes. But there's probably going to be a recount that happens, an audit, because there's been some crazy stuff going on. We think all the early and absentee votes and mail-in votes and all that are counted now, and they should be certified on Monday. It looks like the final results could be right about 333 vote win for McGuire. Like I said, recount, audit, probably coming. But again, today's going to be a short episode, so I'm just trying to get you up to speed. You can hear my voice hasn't quite recovered from the illness I had. So here we go. I'm going to read this post from the Lynchburg City Republican Committee, LRCC as they're called. And these are the guys, again, the official Republican Committee of Lynchburg. Uh, there's been some different uh, voting irregularities, shall we say, um, alleged irregularities that's been going on. It's going to have to be investigated in uh, about three different localities. Lynchburg seems to be one of the biggest ones, which is one of the big, it's the biggest city in the 5th Congressional District. So I'm going to read you the post from the Republican Committee to help you get you up to speed with what's happening. And so you can kind of understand what's going on in Lynchburg and maybe some similar stuff in some other localities as well. So the post begins, LRCC has been monitoring, LRCC leadership has been monitoring the situation in the Lynchburg Registrar's office. The Feraldi and Alexander campaign, so Chris Feraldi, Peter Alexander were the two councilmen running for Ward 4. Uh, Chris Feraldi, councilman, vice mayor, he is running for re-election in the primary. Uh, Peter Alexander trying to take him on, he's the conservative trying to take out Feraldi, who's quite a rhino. The Feraldi and Alexander campaigns agree there are questions regarding the Republican primary on June 18th. Both campaigns citing serious concerns about election integrity and have issued public statements. It has been reported to us that evidence came to light during the Central Absentee Precinct, the CAP, that the formerly Democrat-led electoral board allowed ballot box manipulation for years. The electoral board is currently chaired by David Levy, David Levi, excuse me, Democrat. Detailed information has been provided to LRCC leadership by representatives of the Alexander and Good campaigns, that would be Bob Good running for uh, Congress, obviously, re-election in the primary, uh, running for, I lost the spot here, okay, uh, representatives of the Alexander and Good campaigns regarding the situation in the registrar's office. LRCC leadership has not begun a report from the Feraldi or McGuire campaigns. LRCC leadership believes all concerns related to election integrity should be taken seriously, and those responsible for carrying out our elections should ensure the integrity of our voting processes. Here is some of what has been reported to us by authorized campaign representatives present at the canvas, the CAP, and the Emergency Electoral Board meeting. During the Central Absentee Precinct canvas on June 21st, three days after the primary, an Emergency Electoral Board meeting was called after a registrar's office staff member stated absentee ballots without postmarks could still be elected and counted up until noon that day, which would violate Virginia law. <clears throat> CAP processing was scheduled to begin at noon on Friday, June 21st, and Alexander campaign representative arrived at noon and was told to return at 12.30. Later records indicate the seal on the ballot box was broken at 12.15, suggesting the process started while the representative was denied access. Chris Feraldi's representatives arrived approximately four hours after CAP processing was scheduled to begin, after Alexander and good campaign representatives questioned the security of the drop box and legality of ballots being counted before Feraldi's representatives arrived. So right now, the campaign seem to be carrying things out with a lot more integrity than the actual election officials. Uh, even the opposing campaigns. Representatives for the Alexander, Good, and McGuire campaigns were present for the duration of processing once permitted access to the CAP. Precinct drop box, bags, drop box bags were inventoried by one electoral board member Thursday, June 20th, two days after the polls closed. No records show the number of ballots retrieved from each precinct drop box bag. The registrar's office staff have not provided a definitive number of ballots collected from the drop box and said there is no security camera on the ballot drop box. Dropbox ballots were pulled on June 21st. Handwritten forms documenting ballot collection were provided to Alexander and good campaign representatives. Staff took over an hour to provide these records upon request. Concerns about the physical security of the registrar's office due to a shared elevator with the train station below and unclear access with elevator keys were shared. LRCC remains vigilant to ensure the will of the voters is carried out. Questions raised by the government-run open primary process validate the need to return to a closed party closed and party-run processes ensuring Republican voters select Republican nominees for general election contests. 
they cite uh, 2021 when we uh, did well with our Republican nominees statewide. The LRCC Executive Committee calls for a thorough investigation to the June 18th primary in Lynchburg and a full audit. And that is very likely to happen. We'll probably see recount in the local race and the congressional race and probably an audit of those ballots for the races as well and maybe some other localities across the district as well. We may see a full recount of all fifth district votes, maybe a full audit of all of them. We're just going to have to see. The point being, McGuire leads, uh, <clears throat> Chris Peraldi leads Peter Alexander in the city council race by 21 votes. McGuire leads Congressman Good by 333 votes when over 60,000 were cast. So it's a big race and there's a lot of questions still up in the air. So right now McGuire leads, right now Feraldi leads. That could change. We just have to see what happens. I will try to keep you updated. Make sure you subscribe so you can get up with notifications when I post additional videos, additional shorts, additional community posts about it. So you stay updated. In the words of our great president, look here, Jack. I'll challenge you to push-ups, but that's neither here nor there. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fight and Revive YouTube channel and help us reach more people with our conservative message.